Morning. I don't have a tripod at home, so the Kiwi was my my tripod. Yeah. Hey, Proliam, this shit crazy. I see you crashed the car already. I think it's a very similar to our E30 when I crashed it two days after we fixed it nicely. Same thing, you see. I didn't. Look I didn't. At that. I didn't tell anyone. You didn't show any. Oh, <laughs> I feel embarrassed. Come here. Come here. Look at this. Literally a day after I don't we want filmed the whole video. <laughs> but technically, it wasn't your fault. Sam will explain what happened. So what happened was. The, I started the car in the garage yesterday and the clutch kind of the clutch stick together it's very racy clutch and it's it stick together which it shouldn't I started the car and the car went straight to the the wall of the garage a little bit but it hurts we need to repaint the front bumper mm. this hurts a lot I really wanted to cry when it happened uh, the lesson is that you shouldn't start the car in a gear I had clutch full on, but still, yeah. just don't start it in gear. Start it neutral, and uh, yeah. but it's okay. This was yesterday. Today is a new day. So, <laughs> new day, another Beamer in garage. Look. Okay, so I think it's finally time to uh, do the final touches on my Lada. So at the moment, I have these uh, disgusting. I mean. They're not too bad, but overall disgusting seats, front and back. And I don't like them. I think on the video they look better than in real life, but in real life they're pretty bad. And it took me probably about three months to find the seats that I really wanted. And finally I'm looking at them. They're here, they came all the way from Lithuania. And yeah, look at that. Sheesh. Man, I always wanted proper vibey leather seats for this car and finally got them it's very difficult to find them and I'm super excited to put them into this car right now okay so I took the seats out it is pretty dirty in here but I'm not even gonna bother cleaning it that's because we made a deal with you want an and then no, eat. no, no. I have fresh car, man. New car. Uh, our friends at Auto Finesse told us that they're gonna come here just before Altrace to do full detailing of the car, like proper, proper cleaning. I don't know if you've seen their videos. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, I'm just I'll just clean the seat just a bit, just to be able to sit down on them, and I'm not gonna do anything else. So if you boys from Auto Finesse are watching, um, yeah, it's gonna be. Fun job. So of course the front seats don't fit. The mounts are completely different and the seats are much wider than what I had before. And the situation that we are in, it's that these mounts were on the old seats and the old seats were actually from a Ford. It says here, Ford. Um, let me take the seat out and I'll show you exactly what I mean. You see the mount in the, the car from the old seats made the old seats very straight but 
these seats, the mountings, I don't know if you can see, they are not straight. So the seat standing like this. If you look at the old seats, they're perfectly leveled. And if you look at these ones with the original mounts, it's really not the same. Uh, but the idea is just to somehow weld the Ford mounts into the ladder seats. But for now, we have a bit of a situation. It's raining outside, starting to rain, and uh, Adam just fixed G's Beamer, and we need to go for a little test drive. Have to check everything. Have to just check everything if everything is okay, no? No lifting when it's raining. I think there's some life forming in this car already. Yeah. But let's go for a test drive. Something is not yes. Something is making sounds here. The tire seems to be okay. Okay, we came up with conclusion that most likely it's just an uh, old tire. Because this car has been standing here for uh, at least half a year. So, most likely a tire. Okay, back to Lada. I took off the mounts from these seats, so that way, so that way I wouldn't need to do anything to the floor of the car because also the mounts, original mounts, don't fit the original chairs for some reason. Don't ask me how that's possible, but yeah. Uh, what I did uh, is slightly modified them and I welded these plates. Wait, did I say welded or no? I don't remember. If I said welded, just put screwed in or something. Uh, yeah, I screwed in a plate here as well, so they will be roughly leveled. And voila, now it fits. It's in place. It's not pretty at all, but it works. You can even slide the seat. Very nice. I know that probably for most of the boys here, this will be a pretty easy job for a few hours. Uh, but for me, it took two days. But that's because I'm not as uh, technically smart and advanced as the other boys. And I'm very grateful that actually I did such a little project by myself. Uh, I don't usually do these sort of things, like fabricating mounts and stuff. I'm happy I did this and it just shows that uh, no matter what level of skill you have, you can always figure it out. Find answers on the internet or ask your friends. And uh, yeah, I have no skill in this, but I managed to make something. It's not pretty, it will probably break, but I will learn from my mistakes. Let's put it into the car. We actually already ordered the skip for the, all the winter stuff that we threw out in here, so this all is gonna be going like next week. Very nice.
Okay, so I am back in the garage and we have a couple more things to do with the S13 today. So as you can see, we're missing those plastics. The plastic that goes here, the plastic that goes here and the rubber that goes inside this plastic. And at the moment when it's raining, the rain falls inside the car because we don't have those plastics. And the reason why they are not here is because I wanted to paint them nicely black and they are painted now, ready to put back on the car. So this is what we're gonna do now. We have engine oil, we have a coolant obviously, here we have an oil filter, here we have the drain plug. Here I believe is a little plastic for inside, I'm still collecting all of those plastics that are missing and this is the frame around the... Klometrka? How do you call it? Klomet uh, in English that would be Klometrka. No, no, but... I have no idea. Uh, the handle. No, it's not really a handle. No, the cover for the the handle that opens the... The door. The door. Marek's gonna do the honor and open this one. And this is a piece that I was missing as well. This one goes... Wait, I'll show you. This one, I believe, goes here between the window and the, this plastic. So this piece I was missing. It was pissing me off because you look at the car and you can clearly see that something was, was missing here. And now we have this part. We got it from Lithuania as well. There is a lot of parts coming from Lithuania. Yeah. Do the honor. Poof. Marek, what we said about keeping the garage clean? Don't worry, you're not gonna see that. Ooh, it clicked. Let's put the car on top and proceed to the oil change. Ah, you need to open it from the other side, I think. It's not gonna be Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> you know, I needed a shower, but not this kind of shower, not this golden shower that we are having in the garage. It went behind your yeah, hoodie. It's worse than on the face because it went straight into, into here, so everything here is wet now. Okay, there's been a bit bit of progress with Kevin being done. If you see those red lines here, this red line go from the throttle bodies up to the gas pedal. So at the moment we can say that the gas pedal is working. Adash connected now the throttle pedal to the throttle bodies and now connecting the clutch pedal to the clutch. Tuck. You can show the close up of uh, gas pedal. Look. I press it here. You, what, you press the gas, yeah. the throttle? Yeah. Nice. Something moves there, so so this is connected. 
and the clutch is the same story it's just a little line and then the brakes are working as well so three pedal all three pedals are connected so in theory we could drive a car as a car again which is really bad because we want to test the S13 again but I guess we're just gonna test it in the rain and then wash it again um, it's more and more E36s here I don't know how it happened Romex Jimmy's G's and boogies so at the moment we have four E36s here and then there is there is all the rest hmm. okay Marek what's going on Boogie called us, uh, well, he texted us first, he was like, today is nice weather, I'm gonna take my Hulaika, how do you say that scooter. in scooter, and I will drive to garage with that. We're like, okay, half an hour later he calls us, guys, please come rescue me, uh, my tire blow up. <laughs> so we're gonna take uh, Lada and we're gonna uh, go so rescue So we were Boogie. thinking, what's the most reliable and quick car to get there? Let's go. There he is. Morning. Hello. What's wrong with your scooter? You remember when we were trying to fix the tire? Yeah. And we cut this tire with grinder? Yeah. That's happened. It's so nice that you got here so quick uh, with a Hulaika instead of a car, you know? Yeah. So much easier. Actually, the back would be nice. Oh. oh man, this car with these seats are so much better now. I didn't know that changing only the seats can make the whole car so, so much better, like in general. Um, anyway, yesterday we finished filming because it was raining again, as last previous day, like it pretty much rains every day, which which is bad, makes everyone feel a bit, you know, down. But today is actually sunny day and we have a good plan for today. So a couple of weeks ago, I got contacted on Instagram by a girl, right? Um, she's from Singapore and she said that she's filming a documentary style uh, video divided by a couple episodes um, about car community and whole car culture. And she said that she's gonna be in Poland for a couple of weeks and she asked if she can film a video with us. So today is the day that she's coming and they're gonna be filming documentary style video with us. Which is pretty funny because usually, you know, we film those videos about other people's project cars and stuff. And this time actually we're gonna be on the other side of camera. So this is gonna be all very interesting. And my plan for this video that you're watching right now is to film behind the scenes of of the video that they filming with us. Sounds complicated, but super easy. I hope this is gonna be interesting for you guys to watch. And if you're still watching this video, yeah, just stick along and enjoy watching. Hey, Prolium, this shit crazy. Uh, hi, my name is Mark. I'm Barco. Okay, so this is Katrin. So today we are filming for After Dark, a series that's not really based in Singapore anymore. Because we're here. The series is about cars and car community and not just that but also people that create content that is just about cars. It's supposed to start launching in two weeks. Uh, we're gonna put the link in the description below if you guys want to check it out and yeah thank you for coming. Bet is a bet. I'm waiting for auto finesse. It's gonna be worth it. Hey, look at 
this. So we stopped here just for the, uh, for like a thumbnail. And the bridge and the, the clouds there look super sick because it's very dark. It's so cool that we actually had a reason to go out with all these cars. This one's gonna probably finish here. We're just gonna film a bit more scenes with those cars. And this is it. I hope you guys like the, the video. And yeah, see you in the next one.